think if you look at the first half, I think we had we didn't have enough ball or territory. I think it was about 70 30 in possession. I think it was about 60 odd uh, in, in territory that they had as well. So looking at it from a defensive point of view, I thought uh, we scrambled well. I thought um, you know we showed them the edges a couple of times, which is something we have to work on. But soon again into the change room at 12-7. Uh, we felt that uh, if we continue to work hard in defence, but then got that uh, some territory ourselves and some possession that uh, we could turn the game around. Um, clearly, we didn't start as well as we would have liked after half time. We're an accuracies in there 22, and we let them off the hook a couple of times. So, and the difference was when they got down there, they were very accurate, and uh, they scored the tries that we weren't able to. Signs of uh, the intent to play an offloading game, but obviously it uh, takes a lot to do that under the sort of pressure you're in. At this level? Yeah, and I think for everybody, there's a learning there. I mean, we've got to be very accurate in our passing game, and I think today we put about eight balls down, turned turn the ball over eight times uh, through handling. So that's unacceptable at this level of the game, so it's something that we'll need to go away and work on. Um, yeah, and just generally, the, too many turnovers uh, when we're in good positions on the field, so you're not able to build that con constant pressure, which uh, Ireland were able to do uh, when they scored a couple of their tries. Having had those two weeks, obviously, the Barbara won. Well, look, I think it's just in a, in a, well, it's an opportunity for us to have a look at our game where we were put under pressure and see where we have to work harder uh, to make sure that we get those things right for the, for the next match. You know, it's, uh, it is a tournament and we've got uh, another three games to look forward to, so <coughs> certainly we'll be working very hard to make sure that we need to get the areas right, so we get the areas right that we need to, um, so that we can put on a better performance next time around. What did you make of um, Josh Bannon-Fly's try that looked to be a little bit Oh, very hard. I mean, uh, uh, we we had a look at replays, but uh, you know the officials make a call on what they see and or don't see, and yeah, you know, very hard for us to make that just uh, make that call. Wayne, in the first half, you kind of touched on him. You seem to depend very narrowly. Was that system errors, or was it something that you planned for in the field? No, it certainly wasn't something that we planned for, but. You know, if sides do get a bit of go forward in the middle of the park, it makes it very difficult. So you can't bring the line speed. And a couple of times, I think, uh, you know, system errors, individuals may have made the odd error. So it's something we'll go away and have a look at and make sure we get right for the next game. I mean, what were your thoughts on what went well, maybe in terms of the, the offloading game and what needs working on? Um, well, I think the results and everything we focus on, we lost. So that's the, that's the thing we'll address first. Um, ultimately, what we did with the ball. Uh, we didn't take the opportunities, as, as Wayne said, um, when we potentially get them off the hook and give them opportunities. You look at the geography of the pitch, um, some of their entries into our 22 were from our areas and giving them the ball, and we didn't have to work for that territory. Um, so those are the, the, the bigger issues for me rather than um, what we did uh, when we were going forward, to be honest with you, because our exits today were going to be important, and a couple of times we got those very wrong. Uh, would you, at the Hadley Park's TMO decision, <laughs> that game, probably left you five points behind with the last quarter to come, momentum and wind behind you. Do you reckon that would have been close enough to overhaul it? Um, great question because, you know, as, a, as someone out there making those decisions, I think we had two or three pounds on the bounce, could have taken the points, but we still would have been behind. Um, it is a bit of a gamble, but we got that try, um, albeit disallowed. Um, I, did, I did felt the, the the pens that we did have were building, building, so potentially, you know, I'm not going to blame Roman or say we needed a card earlier, but we felt from a discipline point of view, we were exerting pressure on them. Um, you know, we, you know, we got the card later on in the game, but that's by the by. Um, <clears throat> the, more, the pleasing thing is we did get the drive, but they, uh, the drive and try, but they obviously, from a, a points perspective, they got that one at the end as well, so, um, you know, it's, it, you know, it's a big game shifter, isn't it? What was your take on Patty's set and talking millimetres there? It is, and it's a big decision, but uh, the, the decision was right. You know, he didn't have control, and so uh, we, 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 we didn't get rewarded with the points, but uh, certainly it wasn't through our <coughs> lack of effort. But, you know, as Ellen's mentioned, Ellen's mentioned you know, with 20 minutes to go, it's game on at that point. Wayne, any question marks about the Josh Bradley fair try? Because not many seem to see the ball around it. Oh, we've just been, out, just been asked that question, but uh, we couldn't see from where we were. Alan, do you feel like a very different Irish team, of the new coach and new attack coach, do you feel like a different challenge? Um, <coughs> not wholly, there's a lot of familiar faces there. Obviously, fans has been <coughs> assistant coach for a long time. Um, you know, a lot was said in the week about uh, 
Johnny being captain, I thought he, he was great today, but um, he stood for them. Um, so not not um, a great deal. It's funny when change comes, uh, people are like, oh, it's changed. Well, sometimes it takes a while to implement change, and I think we forget that. Um, but also, it's not an excuse. So if we're focusing on us, um, we've had a lot of change, but it's not an excuse for you know, um, losing any at all. When, what are your thoughts about the, the next challenge ahead of you and what you might be focusing on uh, this week, maybe? Yeah, well, it's um, possession, looking after it when we've got it, making sure a lot more accurate than what we do. As I said earlier, you know, eight handling errors, it's too many. Turnovers at the breakdown, too many. Uh, so there's plenty to work on. We've got to make sure when we've got the ball that we look after it and build pressure. At the end of that, usually comes some points. You talked uh, initially with an unacceptable handling errors. Is there an element, though, the way you're trying to play, the 15 off those uh, it's a bit of high risk, high reward game at times? Some of the handling errors, yeah, we'll go and look at them. Um, they weren't always under pressure, so it was uh, some of it was skill execution.